What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today we are back with some more Carolina Panthers rebuild the Cam Newton years. He's in year number eight of his career because obviously in Madden 2012 he was a rookie. Now we, we will beat the Dallas Cowboys. We will actually start this year off 4-0 and proceed to go 6-10. Look at that. We beat the Cowboys. We beat the Buccaneers. We beat the Steelers. We beat the Saints. Lose to the Bengals. But then we beat the Ravens. Lose to the Bucks. Had a bye week. And then after the bye week, everything hit the fan. We lose to the Bears, the Skins, the Falcons, the Eagles, the Browns, the Falcons again, the Saints. Beat the G-Men. And then lost to the San Francisco 49ers. Cam Newton had over 3,000 yards passing. A good TD to interception ratio. Not bad. Or Larry. He is coming through. He, he is coming into his own as one of the best receivers in the game. 77 receptions, 9 touchdown receptions, and over 1,000 yards. O-line was decent. D-line was also decent. But I must say, I think I've been going about this rebuild all, all wrong. I try to be realistic with my thinking. I'm like, okay, I don't want to go after any free agents that are older. right? I'm looking for that, 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 that prize free agent. And I'm realizing something, that this game only gives you older free agents. Like, the teams are just going to re-sign those young guys that you want. No, they're going to re-sign them and give you the older guys that nobody is supposed to want. But this time around, we're going to change things up this offseason. And we're going to go after those older guys. Because I feel like this team is too talented not to have a Super Bowl appearance. And as of right now, we do not. And I believe about to head into the year 2020. And as of 2020, it was kind of unsure where Cam Newton was going to be in his career. With the Panthers, with the Patriots, who knew? You know what I mean? So, Wild Card Weekend is here. The Broncos beat the Texans. G-Men, they win. Steelers win. And the Cowboys over the Detroit Lions. The Bills over the Broncos. The Cardinals over the Cowboys. The Steelers beat the Raiders. And the Saints over the G-Men by 10. Conference Championship Weekend. The Steelers over the Buffalo Bills. And the Cardinals over... The Saints. So the Steelers and the Cardinals in the, in the Super Bowl, and it's in Tampa Bay, like it was way back in the day with the Steelers winning. In the start of this season, we traded our receiver Waters, who we ended up trading for from the Raiders. He's now a Steeler, and he has a Super Bowl victory. We try to get Andy Reid. Andy Reid's going to be staying with the Philadelphia Eagles. I was looking at Wes Welker. Wasn't quite sure if I wanted to sign him, but all those upgrades to the receiver position are kind of enticing. Keith Brooking, he can upgrade our middle linebacker spot. That also looks very enticing to me. Michael Turner, the burner Turner, the ex Falcon, ex Charger running back, he's there as well. Wilson, he's there. Jeff Saturday could be my head coach. I'm looking like, hey, who do I want to be my head coach? All these guys look appealing, but I was thinking, how much do I just want somebody to affect one position? And I was like, I really don't care about one position. I want like everybody to get an upgrade. And then I found my head coach. And it wasn't going to be Hutchinson. It wasn't going to be Reggie Wayne. Because, again, I want to affect more than this one. And it's going to be Mike Tomlin. Mike Tomlin is a new head coach of the Carolina Panthers, how do you do? So Davis has retired. Mathis has retired. San Antonio Holmes has retired. Maurice Jones Drew has retired. Bear Rude has retired as well. Jenkins is gone. Johnson is gone. Bethea, he is gone. Jason Witten is gone. Please don't go to the booth. Just spare us. We love you. Not everything is for everybody. Drew Brees is gone as well. Cameron Wake has also retired. We're going to resign the top guys here. All right, we need a punter. Why not resign? Why not resign an 85 overall punter who's only going to cost you one mil per year, two year deal, two million dollars? Dante Wheeler coming off his rookie deal going to get a four year, 15 million dollar contract. Marcel Reese, who's getting up there in age, but he's still getting a job done. 83 overall, blocking back, full back, two year deal, less than a mil per year. I'll take that. That's easy money for us. And then McFarlane, I'm going to let go. Miles, I'm going to let go. Wilson, I'm going to let go. Everybody else, I'm going to let go. We have a decent amount of salary cap, not a crazy amount. Right here, we, 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 we were about to have no money in the bank. So we're going to go after Hayward, who's 30 years old, right in. And I know he's a 3-4 right in, but I was like, I'm going to mess with him. Deshaun Jackson has speed, three-year deal, $22 million. And then Ferguson at left tackle, 84 overall, age 35. Not loving their ages, but I'm thinking that they can help us out for at least the next two years. Yes, Hayward's deal for this for the next six. He's still, you know, at the age of 30. 
that position I think is going to be just fine. We're still sticking with the 4-3, I believe. I believe we're still sticking with the 4-3, even though I know Mike Tomlin and the Pittsburgh Steelers, they run a 3-4. So, Augustus, look at that. He is 86 overall. He was not even supposed to go high in the first round. Our first pick was, I believe, in the top 10. We end up signing him, or we're trying to sign him. He's trying to take all of our money. We ain't got no cap room to sign this joker. Uh, but he's 86 overall, and that's what I need. I, I started going with my gut. I was looking at the projections, and these guys were projected to go all over the place. And I was like, we have got to hit on the O-line because our O-line has not been as good as it should be because I love building the O-line. And I was like, let's just go and get this guy. He's supposed to go late in the first round. We have a high first round pick. I'm not trading. I'm not doing nothing fancy. I'm going to just go get who I want to get. And I wanted to go get that left guard. Augustus should come in and be a mauler right off the bat. O'Leary, 82 overall. Deshaun Jackson, 86 overall with 91 overall speed. Vernon Davis, still got 87 over speed. We're going to make him our starter over Bates. Or over Bates, excuse me. No, Bates. Yeah, Bates. Over Bates. We're going to make him the starter. Last year, Vernon was our backup. The year that we just went 6-10. and 10. Didn't work out. So I'm going to just go with the highest overall guys. And hopefully, we get a chance to make it to the Super Bowl. And that means winning the division and getting the first round by. Because I do not think that we've won a division yet in this franchise either. Forget getting to the Super Bowl. Can we win the division? And I think we have a roster to do so. Defensive line looking spectacular. Looking absolutely marvelous. Linebacker core could use some work, but I do think we're going to be just fine. It does need some work, but I think we're going to be just fine. Cornerback situation, pretty solid. Okay, Addison, 87 overall. The other guys are 82, 82, and 81 overall. So having all 80-plus overall corners for nickel, dime, it just looks lovely. Wheeler, 84 overall. Okay, strong safety, 90 overall. I'm loving it. Let's sim this season. And we end up going to the playoffs by winning the division, we beat the Packers in week one, beat the Skins, beat the Saints, lost to the Texans after a bye. I don't, I don't know what it is after a bye, but we just can't get it right. But then after week 14, went on a four-game win streak. That would give us a grand total of 12 wins. We have a first-round bye, and Cam Newton might win the MVP. Look at that. Led the league in passing yards with 3,500. 61 to be exact. 28 TDs, 11 interception. Watson, 1,100 yards for him. Eight touchdowns on the ground. Cam Newton chipped in with one touchdown, three touchdowns on the ground. Uh, that was Deshaun Jackson with one rushing touchdown as well. Or Larry, he coming through. Okay, he's coming through when I need him to in a major way. Ferguson, decent, decent season. Not a crazy number of sacks given up. Not a crazy number of pancake blocks. Kind of who I thought he was going to be. 17 sacks. Look at these sacks. But then Brown is nowhere to be found. And this is why I'm thinking that when we simmed, it was a 3-4 defense. Like, I, 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 I don't know what happened. But Brown had like 81 tackles, but zero sacks. It's weird. But when, when we play these playoff games, it is automatically set to our basic Panther 4-3 defense. So I don't know if it did change during the simming process and then changed back from when we played the game. I really couldn't tell you. Barnes? He is your defensive player of the year. We had two guys up for the award. One of them was going to get it. I love to see it. Cam Newton finished second in the MVP and offensive player of the year. Um, voting, best linebacker, obviously can go to Barnes, as you see right there. Coach of the year is Mike Tomlin. How do you do? Wild card weekend, the Jaguars beat the Steelers, the Giants over the Eagles, the Broncos over the Texans, and the Packers over those Dallas Cowboys. How about them Cowboys? The Bengals over the, Bron the, Bengals over the Broncos, the Niners over the Packers, the Jets over the Jaguars. So... Can we face the Niners? The Niners were the number one seed. We were the number two seed. If we win, we will be playing them in the NFC Championship game. But first, we got to handle business versus those New York football giants. Deshaun Jackson will receive the opening kickoff, gets past the 20-yard line, and dropped at the 21. First and 10, Cam Newton looking downfield. That pass is going to be caught by Watson. That's going to result in a gain of nine. Give it to Watson, weaving through traffic, breaking tackles, and he's going to have more than enough for a first down gain of 12 right there. After I got again, going to pick up another solid gain and another gain of 12. So second down and eight. Quick pass caught by O'Leary, and he is gone. Touch. 
Damn. Cam, put your hands up. Everybody's sharing candy in the stadium. It is a fantastic affair when you're winning a playoff game. They're going to run the ball with Tate, and Tate's going nowhere fast. Second down and 11 for Williamson. He fires over the middle. That pass is going to be caught by Rango, and that's going to result in a first down. Tate up the gut. Big time hit. That was Hayward laying the lumber. Williamson. Throws this one. That pass is going to be caught by Hall. And the tight end is going to have enough to move those chains. Second quarter action now. Williamson has the football. Fires the football. Caught by Fletcher. And that's going to result in a first down. Third down. 12 yards to go. Williamson fires it. That pass is going to be caught. But shy of the first down. So the Panthers defense does the job. We get the stop. They set up for a field goal. The kick is up. And the kick is good. So 7-3 is the score. We got the lead. We got the football. Got two minutes on the clock trying to do something with it. Vernon Davis, he gets open, breaks the tackle, and he's going to have a first down. Move those chains. First down and 10 from the 46 yard line. Going to run the ball. Nice little surprise run play, if you will. We're going to pick up a gain of nine. Third and inches. Going to pick up the rest and then some. So you go from the 44 to the 36 on that gain of eight. And then Cam's going to keep it. And Cam's going to rumble inside the 20. So first down and 10 turns into second down and three at the 12-yard line. Quick pass to Watts. Touchdown, Carolina. And that is a perfect drive to end the first half for the Panthers. So third quarter action now. Williamson, the MVP, needs to do something. They fire it, and that pass is going to be caught on third down and 26. Unbelievable pass that was by the MVP. So Williamson throws it over the middle. That pass is going to be caught, and that's a first down. But the ball is loose. And Watts on defense is there for the recovery. And there you go. Fourth and two. We're going to go for it right here. Got some pressure in our face. Going to roll left. That pass did not stand a chance. And now the Giants have it third down and 11. They're going to fire this one deep from the 42-yard line. They heave it down to the 15 in Carolina territory. But that pass falls incomplete. Third down and eight. Cam's going to roll right. Gets away from one. Gets away from another. He's going to step out of bounds with a first down in his back pocket. Going over the middle. That pass caught by Watts, and that's going to result in a first down. Third down and nine. Cam fires it to Vernon Davis in and out of his hands, and that drive will come to a stop. So first down and ten. Williamson has it. Trying to scramble. Breaks one tackle, but then he gets tattooed at the three-yard line. So they get back to the line of scrimmage and no further. Second down and 10. They fire this one deep and Wheeler is there for the INT. Has his mind set on a big return. He's going to get dragged down at the 10-yard line. So third down and goal. Give it to Watson. He gets into the end zone. Touchdown Panthers. And that is going to do it. 21 to 3 is the final. And the Carolina Panthers are going to be headed to San Francisco to take on the 49ers to face the Bengals. So the Bengals beat the J-E-T-S Jets, Jets, Jets. Can we beat Big Patrick Willis in the San Francisco 49ers? Patrick Willis retired way before this game was supposed to be played. All right, this 2020, 2021. Pat was done way before this. Watson going to fire that thing. Cam Newton's going to fire that thing to Watson. Let me get my players right. That's a gain of nine. Newton dropping back. He's going to evade the rush. He's going to step up. He's going to take off, and then he fumbles. And the Niners are going to recover it, and that means that the first mistake comes from the hands of the Carolina Panthers. Third down and 10 from the 44-yard line. Hughes has it, fires it. That pass will be caught. Hughes was the number one pick after we took Cam. So the first draft of this franchise, of this rebuild, they don't get the first down. So we have a first down, and O'Leary makes the catch right there for a gain of around eight. Third down and two. Looking downfield, that pass intended for Deshaun Jackson will be well overthrown. We got to get the ball right back to the Niners, and Jenkins, shot out of a cannon, gets dragged down after he picks up a gain of 11, first down and 10. Now it's third down, 10 yards to go. They're going to fire this one deep. That pass, looking for Ross, will fall incomplete. And the Niners get the ball right back to the Panthers. So a defense, a slugfest so far. Patrick Willis gets in there for the stop, his third tackle of the contest. Second down and nine. Newton looking downfield, fires it, and that pass will be broken up. So now we're looking at third down and nine from the Niners 21 or from the Panthers 21-yard line. Cam's going to roll left. 
evades the pass rush, weaving through traffic like your mama knew hairdo, gets chased out of bounds, but has a first down in his back pocket. Second down and nine, quick pass over the middle, caught by Deshaun Jackson, breaks one tackle and falls forward, and that's going to be more than enough for a first down, gain of 12 on that pass play. Third down and 10, Newton looking down, Phil, quick pass to Watts, who got belted, and that pass falls incomplete. We got to get the ball back to the San Francisco 49ers, and that should have been a Yahoo is a her, but no use of love for your boy. Third down and six, that pass caught by Ross, and that's going to result in a Niners first down. Third down and four for Hughes. Looking downfield, that pass nearly intercepted. Watts playing that shutdown corner roll, and we got this thing on back the other way until we don't. So the second mistake of the contest comes from the hands of, the Carolina Panthers, third down and nine from the 32-yard line. That pass is going to be dropped, and that is going to set up a 49-yard field goal attempt. The kick is up, and it's pushed a little bit too far to the right, and we're going to send it to the halftime report by yours truly. Brought to you by Geico. I'm just joking. First down, 10 yards to go. That pass is going to be caught by Finley. The one-time Packer has it over the middle for a first down. His first catch of the ball game, gain of 19. They're going to find Edwards, the big fullback, rumbling. Okay, it's a Niners tradition. You get the fullback involved. Third down and eight. Hughes looking downfield. That pass broken up at the line of scrimmage, and it's still 0-0. We're going to run the ball with Watson. Watson right up the gut, and he's going to fall forward in the hands of Patrick Willis for a first down or a gain of nine. We did pick up the first down eventually. Now it's third down and 10. From the 47-yard line, quick pass to the X-9 of Vernon Davis. And we got this thing up to the 22-yard line. Move those chains. Second down, 14 yards to go. Quick pass. Watts coming through. He is one tough customer coming across that middle, catching every football we throw his way. Watson up the gut yet again. Move those chains. Second down and goal. Give it to Watson. Can he turn the corner? He can. Can he get into the end zone? He most definitely can. And the Niners are down in this one. The Panthers score the first points of the ball game and it comes with a minute on the clock. So 7 nothing. Panthers on top and there goes Cedric Brown with the sack. Third down and 7. They fire this one deep and that pass will fall incomplete. Now they're looking at 4th down and 7. Hughes looking downfield. That pass going to be caught by Graham and the drive shall continue. Got two timeouts, 35 seconds. Plenty of time to do something but Watts is a straight player hater that is going to do it. And the Carolina Panthers are headed to the Super Bowl. Cam Newton, how do you do? Mike Tomlin in year number one, coach of the year, and has us headed to the Super Bowl. Glendale, Arizona, home of the Arizona Cardinals, the University of Phoenix Stadium. Everybody looking spiffy coming up. Who is that? That's supposed to be Andy Dalton, believe it or not. I don't know where his red hair went, but it is gone. He is all kinds of bald. All kinds of bald. Cam, let's do this thing, all right? So we're going to throw the Super Bowl. Gus, yo, Gus Johnson, be quiet. Gus. Gus, I'm trying to talk. I'm trying to do a commentary, Gus. Anyways, man, all I know is that the Super Bowl with Cam versus the Broncos were throwing that out the window. The one with Jake DeLong where they lost to the Patriots way back in the day, that still counts. So this is their second Super Bowl appearance, Cam Newton's first. Can we get the job done? I believe you won a national championship in this building versus Oregon. I believe it was in Houston, right? Not Houston, but Arizona. I believe it was in Arizona, right? I think so. Am I correct? Good. Let's move on. Andy Dalton, TCU, Auburn with Cam. This is not the national championship, but hey, let's do this thing. Super Bowl, and there's a flag as Deshaun Jackson is pushed out of bounds. It's going to be holding on the receiving team. So we're going to start at the 14-yard line. Cam dropping back the pass. Quick pass. And my man paid the price for not even catching the football. Third down and eight. Cam could throw it. But why throw when you could run like a gazelle? Cam gets loose. Cam has a first down move those chains. First down and 10. That pass is going to be caught by Davis. And that's going to result in a first down. Second down and 10. Newton looking. That's going to be caught by Davis. And that's going to be a first down. One of our first trades was with the Bengals. We traded D'Angelo De Williams, I believe. And we got like a pick or something like that for him. It was a good trade. At least I think it was. I don't know. We're going to throw it to Watson, who picks up a gain of nine. Third down and one. Quick pass to Watson. He's going to pick up a first down. Break a tackle. Get out of bounds. Do not take any unnecessary punishment. Looking downfield. That pass caught by Vernon Davis in traffic. This man knows what's on the line. A Super Bowl trophy. Quick pass 
Deshaun Jackson in the end zone. He has a touchdown. Let's go, Cam. Get everybody fired up. Let's go. That's what I am talking about. So 7 nothing is the score. This might be the last play of the first quarter. Brandon gets belted, leaving three seconds on the clock. So second quarter action now. Third down and 11. That pass caught by Grant. And Grant goes nowhere fast. So now it's going to be first down, 10 yards to go. Newton dropping back, looking left, throws it right, caught by O'Leary, O'Leary, excuse me, and that's going to result in a first down. O'Leary is an absolute beast. You'll fail me. Better get his name right. Newton up the gut, picks up a first down, three carries, 21 yards for the Heisman Trophy winner. That pass going to be caught by Vernon Davis and went inside the 25-yard line, minute 15 on the clock, third down and five, quick pass. And that's going to land at the feet of the intended receiver. So we got to set up for a field goal. The kick by Frederick is up. And it is good. 10-0 is now the score in the Super Bowl. Super Bowl 54 to be exact. It's crazy, man. Second down. Four yards to go. Dalton looking downfield. Fires it. That pass going to be broken up. And now they're looking at third down and four. 55 seconds on the clock. They don't score here. We might have a chance to do a little something. Some throwing it deep to AJ Green. Get that thing up out of here. So 11 seconds on the clock. First down and 20. Newton dropping back. Fires it. That's caught by Vernon. Breaks a tackle. We got to get down. We have one timeout left. We're going to burn it with two seconds on the clock. And the kick is just inside the upright. And it's 13 to nothing. Since he could be in some trouble, trouble, trouble. Brandon up past the 20 yard line, and that's going to result in a gain of around 21 on the kick return. So take over at the 22 yard line, and Marshall going nowhere. Big brick wall right there. You ain't going nowhere, sir. They're going to throw that one. Give me that Yahoo! Zay Hart. I said, Give me that Yahoo! Give me that user interception. We got this thing going back the other way. So we're already up 13 nothing. We got the football. We're in enemy territory. We got a screen pass set up. Watson about to hit him with the wiggle sticks. And we're inside the five. And my boy got us down to the one yard line. First and goal. Give it to Watson up that gut. Touchdown. And the Carolina Panthers are now up 19 nothing. Tack on the PAT. Yo, let me get some of that beer, sir. And it is now 22 nothing. Now, still just a three possession game. And they can score here quickly, get a stop. Who knows? Sanders makes the catch right there. That's a first down in Panther territory. Second down to five. Andy Dalton has the football just to get rocked by Big Burke. You best watch out. This D-line, stupid nasty. Dalton looking downfield. That pass caught by A.J. Green, but shy of the first. And that's his first catch of the ball game. We played since one of these uh, years, a couple years ago, and A.J. was absolute beast. You might want to give him the football. I'm just saying. Grant makes the catch as we start the fourth quarter. That's when it's on the first down. Third down and seven. 405 on the clock. The guy's to hurry up. That pass, I don't know who you're throwing the ball to, Red Rifle, but clearly your sights are off. Dalton. Looking downfield, has a man wide open, caught by Grant, gets down inside the five. First and goal, toss play to Marshall, good blocking, and the running back is in the end zone. They are going to go for the onside kick, I mean, why not? You got to score two more times, and they touched it just a little bit too early. The ref, yo, we're supposed to see your face, not your backside. Watson up the gut, and Watson's going to pick up eight first down, and now it's time to take time off the clock. Third down and nine, give to Watson again, gets a mean block by Vernon Davis, and Watson is loose. Touchdown, Carolina, and that is going to put the game on ice. So last chance for Andy Dalton and his Bengals offense to do something to make it memorable for them. And Cedric Brown is there for the sack. And that's going to put this game officially, officially on ice. Like we were putting it there, but now everything is frozen. It's done so. Cam, you done did it. The Panthers done did it. Got our first Super Bowl in franchise history. It took signing a new head coach. It took putting a real squad around Cam Newton. We tried it a few different ways in the first few seasons of this. I think we really found a formula. Hey, whatever free agents are out there, if they're highly overall, just go get them despite their age. Really didn't make too much sense to get Deshaun Jackson at the price that he wanted, but hey, it is what it is. It worked out, so I'm not going to complain. Watson is your Super Bowl MVP. Mike Tomlin gets that sticky Lombardi yet again. Cam Newton 
He done got one. And of course, in this game, you get a parade. And look at everybody sharing candy and Charlotte. It is so, so beautiful to see this for all the Carolinas, North and South. You feel me? And that is going to do it. We won the Super Bowl. We'll be back with some more Carolina Rebuild. Uh, we're going to simulate some more, rebuild some more, and see if we can get uh, Mr. Superman another Super Bowl trophy. So that's going to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope that the rest of the day is the best of your day. Peace, love. Hot sauce.